today we're going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag cloth diapering and cloth diapering mom edition i um cloth diaper obviously but i want to show you guys what i put in my diaper bag and in general overall what do i put in my diaper bag on a daily basis for my baby girl I did receive a new diaper bag from a company called Dakia Babies. I am so grateful. Thank you very much for this diaper bag. This diaper bag has been one that I have looked at before. But I did get one for her baby shower. Uh, I like it. I don't love it. And I'm going to share with you guys why. So this is the one that I have right now. I received this one from Target. What's really awesome is that this bag is much cheaper than this one. This one, I think it's like $40. So this is my new bag looks like this i'm going to share with you guys everything all the compartments in just a second but this is the bag that i have right now and i've had this one since she was born um i do like it i don't love it um i thought i was going to love it when i saw it but there's a lot of little things on it that i actually don't like and what's happening so obviously baby girl is six months so i've only had this bag for six months and it's already ripping here. I got this bag at Target. And I would think that it would last a little bit longer. But, and I do not hold my bag like this. Just um, a heads up. This is from the airport. But I do not hold my bag like this. I always, always hold it through here. So I do not understand why it's ripping. So we're going to fill this up now. So things that I always have in my diaper bag are obviously her diapers um i do have a disposable with me just in case you never know i also put my pads in here because i do not carry a purse anymore um it's just too much as a mom and this one is awesome that it has so many compartments so you can use just one for the mama so like i said i put my stuff in this zipper which is separated from her stuff. I love doing that. I like being organized, especially when you're a mom. You're trying to be as organized as possible. I'm gonna put in two diapers in here. I'm gonna put this one and this one. I do have some other ones downstairs, which are usually my portable diapers, but I'm just gonna put these in there. Dude, I cannot believe how much space this bag has because, look it. That's two diapers in this bag. That's two diapers in this bag. So the space is insane. Insane. I already can tell that I'm not even going to use up the space at all. Um, I'm going to put her diaper cream. I have the Lusa one. I think that's what it's called. The booty bomb. I like that one. I also have my Earth Mama, but that's downstairs. I keep them around the house. Next, we need a diaper bag. I actually haven't been bringing these with me, which is terrible. And I need to make sure because I've been having my diapers in the bag. And thankfully, they're not terrible diapers, but I'm going to put this on the side. You know what? I'm going to put the... Okay. Oh, and it's so awesome. This is like personalized. This Kia Baby. Kia Babies. I'm going to fold this into a square. All right. So next, what I love to always have is a little fleece blanket. And then I have her burp cloth. So I have muslin burp cloths for the most part for her. I do have these regular ones too. But for the most part, I always have a muslin blanket and a muslin burp cloth in here. Next, I always have an extra outfit and an extra onesie. So right now it's cold in South Dakota. So I just have a 
sweater and some sweatpants crew neck um crew neck i don't know i think that's what they're called these this is from walmart actually nana's friend my sister's friend her baby she had twins and her babies didn't get to wear these and since me and my sister's babies are a week apart she gave them to us so we both have the same outfit and then just a onesie for this outfit and on top of a onesie for the outfit i'll just have a regular white onesie in there you just never know honestly since i've cloth diapered i do not i am fortunate enough to not have to deal with blowouts like that like i deal with some poop situations like if she pooped too much and when i take off her diaper i'll have poop around but for the most part blowouts on her clothes has not been a thing i have not gone through shout the way i used to go through shout let me tell you another thing i always have in my diaper bags is socks extra socks she kind of doesn't always wear socks not gonna lie and that is because socks are not that comfortable for her feet um, she has chubby feet. I'm gonna put them in the front row. Just chubby feet. So they kind of like Like I feel like they like go into her rows. So I don't like having socks on her all the time But when I do um, when it, I mean obviously when she's outside and it's cold She always has a diaper. I mean socks on but for the most part She doesn't so as a mom, you know, what's the most irking thing? I do not understand um since becoming a mom even before i was a mom i never touched someone's baby that wasn't mine i touched my like friends babies when i was around them and i touched my uh like siblings kids like my sister's kids my sister's kids and but i would never like be in public and touch someone's child I, I don't understand it. I actually told Toa the other day that I'm going to start touching people. Every single time they think that they're going to touch the baby, I'm going to touch their hands. Like, they touch the baby's hands a lot, and the baby puts her hands in her mouth. So, my whole thought, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start touching people's hands. And I know it's going to be awkward, and I know they're going to be like, why are you touching my hand? And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Why are you touching my baby's hands? It's awkward either way around. Okay? So... In cases where people end up touching my baby's hands, I have these. These are the Johnson & Johnson hand and face wipes. Uh, these came in a, something that I got too. So I've been keeping these in my bag. And literally as soon as someone touches my baby and it's unacceptable, as soon as I walk away from them, I'm wiping her hands. And I already got backup. These are the actually uh, up and up versions from Target. Um, they're like 50 cents cheaper. They're already in my bag. So I also have cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, not cocoa butter. Coconut oil. Um, cloth diapering, safe stuff. I'm actually going to put the butt cream in here too. So just to have everything organized. And then this is lotion and body wash. You just never know when you're going to need that for your baby. And then that goes in there. Y'all, I cannot believe. I'm like almost done. I'm going to put in a actual bib burp cloth. Sometimes she's like drools a lot. Obviously, she's teething. Sometimes she does. Not all the time. So I'll just have that extra. Um, and I think that's it. You know what else I had that I didn't tell you guys? I always have nail clippers because her nails get long. And just in case I need to clip her nails, I already have it together. But... That is all, y'all. That is all I have to put in my bag. And literally, I have so much freaking space in here. I cannot believe it. I didn't think before I started filling this bag that it was going to be like this. 100% honest, I really did not think. But I am so excited for this bag. This gets clipped here. I'm excited because I'm traveling back home for the holidays and 
I'll be able to pack her stuff with no problem for the airport. But hold on, let's fix this. I'm gonna show you guys how much space I have left in here. I kind of want to like take everything out and put it in that bag so you guys can see how much space this is. But that's too much work. So look at how much space I still have. And that's with everything I just put in there. The only thing I have to put in here are the wipes. I do um, cloth wipes occasionally when I go in public. That is all I put in my diaper bag. If you guys are interested in a bag, girl, cop yourself one. I am really excited about this bag.